So it'll be interesting to watch how he comes out and plays. Bama will start on offense, and that is Colin Sexton who brings it across. Sexton working against Turtle Jackson, drives, misses the layup. You just saw it right there on the dog's opening possession. Sexton with seven on the clock. Inside the arc, first. You know, both of these teams are not great three-point shooting teams. When you look at Georgia, they only make five threes a game. And then you look at Alabama, only makes six threes a game. It looks like Georgia's kind of playing like a man-to-man -man to kind of bait them into shooting three-pointers. Jack, the third score was Jawan Parker, did that against Ole Miss in the last game. Let's see who steps up for Georgia offensively to help those, these young guys out. Alabama, he's their top rebounder at 7.3 a game, which is number five in the conference. And he's been playing great basketball pl since the conference play has started. Really starting to be a dominant force inside. Sexton, three-pointer, nailed it. Right. Let me ask you, Twan, when you got into a ball game in your day, when you were the top scorer, the number two scorer in the league was playing against you, <laughs> didn't that just fire you up? Oh, without question. I, I think I'm uh, controlling the pace, but you see Avery's trying to pick up the pace so he can get out and transition. Long this clearing pass to Sexton. Goes Ooh. by Turtle Jackson. <laughs> what a st They had Sexton on the bench. They get him right back out on the floor, just unable to generate any kind of offense without him. And uncontrolled by the tie, Jones gets it to Sexton. Look at the spin move. Next level guy. Oh, without question. Right now, if he's making that three-point shot like he's doing today, he'll be playing. He'll be playing at the next level easy. He has 11 of Georgia's 25. Sexton has Ooh. nine. Make that 11. I think I need to show Callum how to how to do the do the shim in midair. Sexton in front of Jackson. Jackson. Harris answer. hits the three-pointer. Jordan Harris, who's averaging just under four a game, hits a big three-pointer. Bulldogs have almost doubled up Bama. Petty to block that shot right there. Jackson step back three off the iron. Georgia up by nearly 20. Georgia's getting that contribution that we talked about. Different guys stepping up. It's a nice basket right there by the freshman. 11-0 run for the Bulldogs. Sexton got Cleo Jones of the Atlanta Falcons. They've kind of got a big game tonight as well as they take on the L.A. Rams. Body, I know. body tight. Sure, I know where you're going with it. Just do this on Monday night. <laughs> It'll be all great with the world. 41-19. Yante Maiden again, making the right plays, making the right plays, getting out, making an unselfish play right there. Sexton off a screen, man. This is what I was worried about. If Alabama can keep it to 10 or 12, this is not the, the comeback that they can do with the offense being only one way right now for Sexton. But it's the hand of cards they dealt right now. It's going to be a, a tough crime for the second half. Harris feeds to Edwards. Watch the speed right here. Sexton gets it to half Watch court. The speed. Cross half court. Gets off a three-point shot. And it's an play in hockey. Can they take advantage? They go right inside to Mayton. Missed up close. And Sexton for Bama. Pulls up. Rim out. It's a great offensive rebound with a strong finish. Terrific talent, Yante Maiden is. Sexton goes right at Obeda. Ten points so they can make a legitimate run. Just pick away at it right now. That was the first foul on Obeda today. And another foul. Avery's went to the bench looking, looking, for, looking for anything, anybody to step up. He's dig digging deep into his bench. Sexton had it blocked over one in the conference, so he'll go get it, too. You don't have to just run a play for him. He'll go get the board.
Sexton. Georgia making things hard on him. If the jump shot's not going, he's going to continually attack the basket, try to get himself, keep himself involved in the game. How start to get some stops, though. You can't trade baskets at this point. He's got 16 of their 29 points. And the ball stolen there away by like Petty. That. And there's Sexton to flip it in. Different guys game in and game out. Nathan jump hook. A little bit out of his range and a foul on Claxton. Prepare for that the pass out, even the hockey pass. Yeah, I, I thought he missed an opportunity there to hit Jawan Parker, who was standing alone on the arc. Two scores for Georgia now with Yante Maiden on the bench, who's going to be the guy to, to kind of get guys to the offense and get guys open shots. We saw Maiden pretty much do a little bit of everything today. Ahead to Hall, and Jackson got down and got dirty, knocked it away. Claxton, or rather Sexton, battling there underneath. Didn't have enough offensive guys step up today to help out Sexton. Well, they had a 7 a.m. Eastern time shoot around today in this building as Sexton gets fouled on the drop. It's really that big of an issue. You just don't know what you're going to get playing so many different young players. Yeah, I, I, I think I was scoreless from the floor. I'm sure Avery right now is looking for somebody to step up and be aggressive and make some shots. Sexton. But they're going to have to figure out a, another way to score. You can't continue to have games like this where you're just depending on one guy to score the basketball. And again, Alabama without one of those double-figure scores today. Dazon Ingram, who three and a half to play. Now under that, Maiden another three-point attempt. This time getting said, no, -uh, not again, not again. I like the fact that Avery's making his freshman play through this, keeping Sexton on the floor, making them these guys continue to play all the way to the end. This, this builds toughness. Sexton has 23, Maiden has 25. A lot of times when you have a, a big personal kind of matchup like this, it doesn't play out that way it has today. Without Jackson question. with one on the shot clock. But Maiton back on the defensive end, had his shot blocked, didn't phase him, got back on the defensive end to pick up the play. He's done that several times today, and he's shown why he's the senior leader on this team. Maiton inside, got 